Lord. Let's stand this on as we come before the God of grace. As we look to Jesus this morning, come in to meet each and every one of our needs this morning. All things, and you can do all things. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we thank you for the honor, Lord, and the glory of the privilege that we have to come before you. Father, we thank you for those that are streaming in. Father, whatever it is on this morning, we pray that you will each and every need for the Lord Jesus. Come humbly before you this morning. Ask me to give us my salvation. Yeah. Yes, the Lord. Open up our hearts. Open up our hearts to you, Lord. Father, we pray that you will feel each and every one. That your spirit will come in the precious name of Jesus. There's nothing impossible for you to do. We serve God, one that they would do exceedingly abundantly above all that is necessary in us. Father, we thank you. Give me all the glory and praise. Yes, the Lord is your presence. We'll be in this place this morning. We'll be in it throughout the church. Give me up to bless each and every one that's here. All the need to be prayed for. Father, we pray that the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts let it be acceptable. Receive it, O God. Receive it from me. Give me all the glory and praise in the presence of Jesus.
to help us. But if you can just muster up just a little bit of faith. Amen. All right. Yeah. He says you don't need much. He says if you just have enough, as small as a grain, as a mustard seed. Amen. Yeah. He says you can speak to that mountain. That mountain represent whatever it is Amen. that you're facing. Yes. And just know that God is bigger yes. than that mountain. Amen. He said, you can speak to that mountain, your problem. Be thou cast into the sea. Yes. And it shall go. Yes. What is he saying? There's power in the tongue. Yes. Sometimes we can't get over our problems and in in our situation because we complain. Right. Rather than speaking to that situation yeah. and say, be thou removed yeah. in Jesus' yes. name. I just want us to sing this song. You don't have to stand up. If you want to stand up, you can. But I just want to enter into more worship. Because of who you are, I give you glory. And just reflect where God has brought you from and where you are today. Forget about what you don't have. Just put that aside just for a moment. And just think of the goodness of God and, and you never know that thing that you desire, that thing that you need, not your want, but that thing that you need just might appear when you leave out of here, when you get home, in your mailbox, through a letter, through somebody here. You never know how God works. As the saying goes, God works. In a mysterious way. What if I is it? In a mysterious way. Because we can never know how God is going to come through. We can never comprehend the ways of God. Let's sing that song, Sister Rachel. Because of who you are. Thank you, Jesus.
Just know that he's a provider. Just know that he's the God of peace. Jehovah Shalom. Just know that he's going to do it for you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Keep holding on, Brother Junior. It's going to get better. Get back. Keep holding on, Brother. Keep holding on, Elder Lord. Lord. It's going to get bad. Keep holding on, Brother Foreman. It's going to get bad. It's going to get bad. Keep holding on, Brother Fonny. Keep holding on, Sister Amui. Keep holding on, Sister Loman. Keep holding on, Brother Jeff. Sister Ada, keep holding on. All right, sir, keep holding on. Don't give up, please. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. I know it is hard. Keep holding on. Let's have some of our, our sisters. Hey Amen. Rally around Mother Foreman. Come on. It's not easy. And let's get some of these brothers. Let's, let, let's rally, rally around Elder Foreman. Come on, sisters. Do what you do. We've been well. Pray. Hallelujah. And believe that God will restore her sight. In the name of Jesus. 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 We find every doubt. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, receive your sight. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we plead the blood of Jesus right now. We pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you hear us always. We thank you, oh God. Hallelujah for your healing power. Lord, that those, oh God, may believe and see your glory. In the name of Jesus. We're still believing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for strength, Lord, over every form. In the name of Jesus. Lord, continue to give him the strength. Lord, to take care of his wife. Lord, to continue, oh God, that we remain faithful and committed. Lord, to the vows, oh God. On their wedding day, Lord. In sickness and in health, for rich or for poor, till death do the part, Lord, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for strength and deliverance right now. It's not an easy task. Lord, the things that she's facing and going through, taking care of the family and her husband. Lord, we pray, oh God, for your divine intervention. That God, you, you know all things. Lord, help her to continue, oh God, to put her trust and her faith in you. In the name of Jesus, she gets weary and she gets tired. God, I pray that you would strengthen her mind. In the name of Jesus, sometimes doubt comes in. I pray against that right now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke every doubt, every evil thought. In the name of Jesus, sometimes she's overwhelmed. 
in the name of Jesus. But God, we know that you're able to refill her. Lord, restore her in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's going to be all right. Your work is not in vain. Your love is not in vain. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Let God do it. Let God do it. Let God do it. That's all right. Jesus, Lord, I pray for the finances with Brother Jeff. 
in the name of Jesus for employment, Lord. Lord, I pray, God, that you would open the doors. Lord, I pray that you would meet the financial situation. Lord, the natural situation. Lord, in the name of Jesus, whatever, oh God. Lord, I know that you're able to do it. In the name of Jesus. Lord, have your way, Lord. Lord, that your will be done. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Keep holding on. Keep holding on, sister. Keep holding on, brother. In the name of Jesus. Junior. In the name of Jesus. Come on, let's go around and around, brother Junior. Come on, in the name of Jesus. Come, brother Junior. In the name of Jesus. Come on, let's rally around my brother. It's not easy. I don't have it as bad. When I begin to look at this brother's situation and those that we have prayed for, Lord, I pray that you will continue to give him the strength. Lord, to not only work eight, ten hours, Lord, pick up his boys and try to. Lord, not only that, to God to provide for his family, Lord, but also, Lord, to care and to provide for his wife. Lord, I pray that you will continue to give him strength mentally. In the name of Jesus, give him the mental capacity, oh God, to handle, Lord, the situation that he's going through. Lord, I pray, oh God, by the Holy Spirit, that you would strengthen him and empower him, oh God, to do, oh God, what he's doing for his family. Lord, I pray for their finances. Lord, I pray for a miracle in their path. I pray that you will continue, Lord, to uphold, Lord, as we uplift our brother, oh God, that you will continue to be that light, Lord, to his family, Lord, to his friends, to his workers. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would do it for our brother. In the name of Jesus, we know that there's nothing too hard for you. We know that we know that this is too hard for you. We know that this is too hard for you. Keep holding on. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Brother Holly. In the name of Jesus. He's gone through open heart surgery. Some people don't make it through open heart. But look at the painfulness of God. We know that he's able. Amen. Come on, brothers. Let's rally around. Come on, sisters. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over our brother right now. Lord, that you would let it flow. Lord, it touches it with heart. We pray that you would strengthen his heart. We pray that you would strengthen his physical body. We pray that you would strengthen his mind. Lord, that he will continue to hold on. To your unchanging hand. Father, I thank you right now. Lord, we pray, oh God, that you would meet every need. You know, oh God, every thought. You know, Lord, every pain that's in his heart. And Lord, I pray that you would continue to give him the desires of his heart. Father, we pray that you would raise him up. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Lord, we believe you in your power and in your precious blood. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Rosalie, come. In the name of Jesus. Come on, sisters. We're not done. We are not done. There are certain individuals that God is moving upon us. Amen. To pray. Sister has been fighting and battling lupus. Is that right? For years. And it's not easy when you're fighting certain types of sicknesses. Sometimes you get discouraged. Sometimes you want to just give up. I'm not saying that this is the case with sister. But it affects us. That's just the way the human mind works. But it's good to know that we have a family that's praying, concerned, and a God that can do it. In the name of Jesus. 
Father, I'm praying for your healing touch. Lord, we know, oh God, that everything is for your pleasure and for your glory. Lord, I pray that you would strengthen our mother, our sister. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood right now. Lord, I rebuke everything that hinders. I rebuke every doubt that tries to enter into her mind. I pray that you would strengthen her physically, spiritually, and emotionally in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch her from the power of her head to the sole of her feet. Lord, let that blood run in the name of Jesus. Lord, we rebuke the hand of the enemy. And Lord, we pray that you would strengthen Elder Charles in the name of Jesus. As he is going through, Lord, and taking care of his wife as well. Lord, I pray, oh God, for your Holy Spirit. Lord, to touch them physically. Lord, in the name of Jesus, spiritually and emotionally. I pray that you would touch them on their finances. That you would open doors. Lord, that needs to be open and shut the door that needs to be shut. Hell, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your blessings. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes it can drive you to suicide. Now mind you, she also has young children that has lost the father. Baby come. She's here with her daughter and her the son. Thank you, Jesus. That's without a father. Just, just touch her and just pray for her in the name of Jesus.
that it's going to work out, Lord, for her good. Finances will be replaced. Jobs will be replaced. Houses and cars will be replaced. But Lord, most of all, I pray that you will renew her spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus that she will become your servant. In the name of Jesus, that through these dark times, that she would turn to you, her only source of strength. In the name of Jesus, and her children, Lord, I pray your power. Lord, they don't understand. But God, I pray, oh God, that their life will be turned over to you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray for their salvation. Lord, that everything is in you right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Lord, I give you praise and I give you glory. In the name of Jesus, have your way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, do it, Lord. Remove every pain. That's it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Remove every pain. In the name of Jesus. Because he is. Hallelujah.
nine years old. She has five children. And to lose a father's son, the provider, the protector of the home, that's not easy. This is why the church is so important. Oftentimes we're asking God for things and for stuff. I'm not against things and stuff. But when you know what someone is going through, such as a situation like this, things and stuff doesn't mean a thing. Okay, we can only feel the pain just by seeing their pain. and just believe in God. I know it's hard right now. I know it is. I don't know where this family is with their walk and their relationship with God. But I know that all things work together. So you and your children will come out so much better. You just got to believe and trust in God. I know it's hard. I know you're in pain. Go through more. It's okay. But the Bible says, amen, blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. And God's brought you here today so that you can be comforted. And he wants you to know, you and your children to know that you got to church here, a ministry here that will stand with you in prayer, pray for you and that if we can help out in any way please let us know don't blame God things just happen but they happen for a reason Sometimes things happen to get us back in alignment with God. I believe that wholeheartedly. That's God, grace and His mercy that He continues to extend to mankind. For the Bible says this in the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verses 22 and 23. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. God resets our clock and our bank account of mercy every single morning. And I want to encourage all of us. If you look at this heaven here, ain't none of us got it worse than that. Because you know what comes along with losing the protector and the provider. You lose cars, you lose money, you lose houses, you lose everything that comes along with that. And that's tough. 
And there's some people in your life you got to leave. God knows your pain. Every time I see you, you're full of pain and you're full of hurt. What is all of our young sisters? Come and rally around there. Oh God. In the name of Jesus. She's a young woman with a young baby. And it's hard sometimes. Sometimes because of our decisions, we got to go through. But if Candace, you will totally surrender and submit and commit to God. Your pain, your problem, your mountain, your battle will begin to roll away little by little. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you would, Lord, ease the pain. Pray that you would give her the strength, Lord, to go through. We pray, Lord, that you will become the mother, Lord, that you have called her to be. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would bless her right now. Lord, you see the problems and the pain, Lord, that she's facing. Lord, she feels lonely at times. And Lord, you know this. Lord, we're believing and standing, Lord, in the gap, Lord, with her, praying for her, lifting her up. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, right? Bless her child. Lord, give her, oh God, the wisdom, the understanding, the knowledge, Lord, to rear that children up, oh God, in your fear and in your admonition. Lord, we pray that you would give her the wisdom, oh God, to train her child up in the way that it should go. Lord, that when it gets older, it will not depart. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you will begin, O oh God, to increase her faith, her knowledge in you. In the name of Jesus. She may not understand everything. But God, I pray that you would help her, O oh Lord, just to keep pressing on. By faith, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you. In the name of Jesus. Just give it up to God, Candace. Give it up to God in the name of Jesus. Genesis and your sister come. Come. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want all of our young boys to come and run around Genesis as well. We're having a praying party today. Amen. 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 People are going through. I, I know we can preach the word and not believe in the word that it can do what it needs to do. Amen. But I also believe in power. I need the power of prayer. Amen. There's another brother and sister right here that. going through some challenging times. I want to ask us to please pray for this brother and sister as well. I want, I want this church amen, to be very supportive. I, I mean, we got to put our words into action when we say we love them. Not just here. But even outside of this church. But we never know what people are going through. And sometimes, most of the time, these are kids, these are children. They're just caught in the middle of everything. They didn't ask for anything. They didn't ask 
to be here. They just happen to just be in the middle. Pray for these two and their other siblings. How many of you are there? Four? There's four of them. Sometimes you never know what children, the decisions that they make. There's always a reason behind every decision, a bad decision that they make. And I'm, just, I'm not saying that they've made any bad decisions, but sometimes we can be so quick on the draw and judge kids for their bad actions, their bad words, their bad attitude. But behind the scenes, there's some stuff that's going on that they have nothing to do with. They're just here. I'm not trying to blame their parents or anything. We go straight to the root of the problem. And it's the devil. Because he comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said that I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would touch Lord these two the brothers and sisters, Lord, and the other two that are not here. I pray that you would give them the strength. I pray that you would give them the mind, oh God, to continue to seek you, to turn to you. Lord, when there's no one else to turn to, I pray, oh God, for your provision. I pray that you would touch their mother to continue, oh God, to love them and to provide for them. Lord, their father, oh God, I pray that you would touch him as well. Strengthen him, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you would touch, Lord, their education. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you would touch their finances. Lord, give us the sensitivity, oh God, to know, Lord, when these, Lord, are in need. Lord, not only spiritually or emotionally, Lord, but also, Lord, naturally. Lord, I pray, oh God, that not only for these alone, Lord, for all those that we have also prayed for Lord, help us to walk in your spirit, oh God. Help us to be sensitive, Lord, to your leading. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, oh God, as we stand in the gap for these yes. young people. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would save them. Lord, and use them for your glory. Yes. Use them, Lord, yes. for your cause yes. to uphill your kingdom. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your deliverance. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand. Clap and Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Amen. Hold on. I pray for each and every one of you that you hold on. Renisha, hold on. Sister Laura, hold on. Cameron and Tyler, hold on. Hold on to all of our visitors and our guests. Hold on. Hold on. It'll get better. Amen. Sister Laura, hold on. Sister Candace, hold on. Amen. Sister Candace Deacon, hold on. Sister Nisha, all the way from Florida, hold on. Thank you, Jesus. God is worthy and he's worthy to be praised. Hey, Amen. God knows all of our needs. He knows where you are. Amen. Amen. Our prayers and our thoughts are with every one of you. Just because we didn't call you up, please. Amen. God knows. God knows. I know we all need prayer. Amen. And I ask that you will continue to pray for me as we continue to do the will of God. Amen. Tomorrow is not promised. Amen. Get in where you fit in. In the kingdom of God. 
Praise God. You know, everybody's talking about today ends the seven year of Shemitah and begins the seventh year. Everybody trying to take their money out of the bank by today. <laughs> because we never know what's going to happen. I say that we put our faith and our trust in God. Amen. Amen. But I know and I understand we need to prepare ourselves for whatever is coming. Things are just getting worse by the minute. And they're happening at such a fast rate. Please, we are in the end time. Amen. We're not getting there. We're not getting closer. We are in it. The end time. God is showing signs after signs. And I'm excited. Some certain situations, they're unfortunate. People getting killed. People doing things that are just... You wouldn't even think that we would ever end up here. With the things that people are doing. But that's just a warning and a sign from God. Amen. To get ourselves in the Lord. Give our life to Him. Amen, somebody. Because I don't know about you, but I'm not missing heaven. you got to be determined and persuaded in your mind that I'm not turning back. I'm not giving up. And I'm not giving in. Thank you, Lord. Things come to distract us. Listen, everything that's going on in the world today that are not beneficial for our walk with God, it's just a distraction. It's a distraction to move us away from the things of God. And I'm telling you, I, I can't be distracted. I've come too far. Amen. Amen. Jesus. God's been too good to me. Amen. To give up now. I don't care who gotta who I gotta let go of. Amen. There's some people, amen, that you are in relationship with. You got to cut them. They mean no good for you. Some of them folks is your family. Amen. Amen. That's the truth. You, you got to look at Jesus Christ and the example that he has set for you and I, even the apostles. They gave away family. They gave up family. I'm not saying for you and I to hate our family. You still love your family. But if they ain't on the same path with you, praise God, and that's trying to make it, amen, into the kingdom of God, into heaven. If they're not trying to do things that save people trying to do, you got to cut them off. You got to keep them on a short list. Amen. You got to keep them on the black book. Amen. The Bible says, come out from among them. And will be separate. Amen. Who is them? Family, the world, people that are not walking and living in the will of God. I love you, but I'm on a different path. Amen. I'm trying to do something positive. I'm trying to be. So I'm trying to be successful. Listen, I'm trying to leave a legacy for my children. So many people are caught up in living, leaving a natural legacy, amen, and leaving houses and land, but they forget about a spiritual legacy for their children. The Bible says to train up a child in the way that it should go, that when it gets older, it will not depart. Amen. It will not it, listen, what do you say? Praise God. When you bring up a child, amen, in the ways of God, you're giving it a strong, amen, and a good foundation. That when they get older, praise God, they may, praise God, become obedient and they may walk away from the things of God. But because of their foundation, the foundation will pull them back. Hallelujah. 
It's got a strong foundation. Amen. You've got a strong foundation. And you've got to continue to be encouraging God. Because with everything that's going on, praise God, you can't, you can't afford to allow somebody or something, amen, cause you to become distracted from the things of God. You know, we think God is playing in the church. Amen. When he says, come out from among them and be separate. Amen. They touch not the unclean thing. He says there is a difference between holy and unholy. There's a difference between clean and unclean. He says there is no fellowship with light and darkness. What, amen, concord, what does uh, God, amen, and, and, and what concord does Christ and Belial have? What agreement do they have? They have no agreement. God is separate from the church, amen. God is on a whole nother level all by himself, amen. And if I claim to be a child of God, then I've got to look like a child of God. I've got to walk like a child of God. I've got to talk like a child of God. I've got to dress like a child of God. I can't be spotted, amen, with the flesh of this world. My garment's got to be clean. I'm not, praise God, trying to advocate that we walk around, amen, with our nose up in the air, that we stuck up and that we just holier than everybody. But I'm just letting you know that I've got to know where I my trail the line at, amen, what is God and what is not of God. What's pleasing to God and what's not pleasing to God. You can't be wavering. All right. Well, I guess I'll allow it this time. You got to stand strong in the power of the Lord, in the might of the Lord. You got to be encouraged. People that praise God. Why is it people always gonna get mad at you when you want to do something positive? <laughs> And, and, and I tell them the truth. Why do people always want to talk about you? Because you want to change course and you want to follow Jesus. We're living in a day and time right now. Well, some of us got to make that decision. If it's God, it's got to be God. Huh. If it's your family, it's your family. Huh. It's a hard decision. Okay. How do you think Abraham felt when God tell him to leave out of your country? From your kindred? From them? How do you think he felt? I mean, to add insult to injury. He said, get out of your family, get out of your country, come out from your people, and then they don't know where to go. Huh. You tell me to leave somewhere. You tell me to leave my family behind. You tell me to leave my country, but you ain't going to tell me where to go. Huh. And some of us are stuck because we're trying to figure out where to go. Some of us have already left family. Some of us already left folk. But you stuck because you don't know where to go. And guess what? You just ran outside on the other side of the door. Some of us, we got one put in and one put out. But I'm telling you, it's not for you and me to understand where I go. That's why amen, Abraham was called, amen, the father of faith, amen, because he didn't know where he was going. He went. You don't know where you're going, just go. Pray and ask God. As a preacher said last week, pray and ask God for wisdom. God, order my steps in your way. Lord, that's what walking by faith is all about. We walk by faith and not by sight. I don't move according to what I see. I move according to what I know. And what is it that you know? You got to know the word. God will talk it away in your heart. 
some of us, our lives will be better if you learn to cut the fat off. <coughs> cut the fat off. God cut some of the people off, you know. It's alright to be, it's alright to be alone. It's alright to walk through, through and go through by yourself. It's alright. <coughs> Sometimes, amen, to be alone, amen, is the best thing for you. But when you got too many folk in your life, your life becomes complicated. We have to learn, listen, we have to learn to simplify our lives. Get certain things out, not only people, but stuff. Get them out. So you can get God in. Into our hearts. Not everybody, amen, listen, there's some people that come into our lives just for a season. Some people that leave. Some of us holding on to people that are trying to leave. Listen, got you. Let them go. Because they were only in our life just for a season. I got some of y'all back here. We got to go home. We got to do some inventory. And I'm sharing this with God. Say, man, because God is he's soon to come. We've got to preach it and tell it that the second coming of Jesus Christ is near. I don't know about you, but I want to be ready. I've got to be ready. I'm going. You going? Who going? Come on, you know you're going. Come on, shout hallelujah. You know you ain't ready to go shout hallelujah by faith. I'm going. Hallelujah. I may not be ready, but I'm going to get ready right now. I'm going to start. I already got my check in mentally. I'm already checking things off. Come. Come. Delete people from your Facebook page. Delete people from your phone. Listen, as long as certain people know your phone number, amen, the devil still know where you at. He still know how to get a hold of you. He know your address. He know your email. He know your Instagram. He know your Facebook account. Well, he knows your identity. Some of you gotta change your identity. Good God Almighty. You gotta take on Christ. You want you want folks to stop chasing you and stop bothering you? Amen. Put put on the Lord Jesus. Because you know, folks, you start talking about Jesus, folks don't want to hang around no more. You want to clear out your lunchroom break time at work? Just start talking about Jesus. All of a sudden, everybody's fool. Huh? You want folks to stop drinking at your family reunion? Just put on Jesus. Start talking about Jesus. You know what I mean? Oh, here you go. We didn't ask for all that. You know how our families do. Small, black, Mexican, white, everybody family like that. You start talking about Jesus. I'm telling you, y'all got to talk about Jesus and have them talk about me. Come on, Amen. Did God deny me? Did Jesus deny me before the Father? Amen. Amen. Praise God. How many have been blessed this morning? <laughs>
I guess at this time we just going to receive an offering. This is just becoming kind of normal for us, huh? It's the way that God says do things within our service. Praise and worship straight to the word. This time is praying for folk. Throughout the whole, I mean, look at that. It is one o'clock. God, God got some word. Prayer. Now I'm ready for some food. And sleep. Because God, what? Really, I feel real good. I got some power. I'm not on rock star. I'm not on Red Bull. I'm not on five hour energy. I'm on the Holy Ghost. I'm high on the Spirit. He said he gave you power. Boy, I am just feeling good in you, God. Amen. Whatever you have. Amen. To offer to the Lord today. Amen. Come. You don't have any faith, that's okay.
Also bless those that stream in to give you the honor, glory, and praise. And the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart, let it be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our deeds. This is what I pray in Jesus' name. I was created to worship the Thank you.